We are getting our first look inside the Healthy Central Valley Together Lab run by UC Davis. The lab is on the cutting edge of COVID tracking and wastewater testing. Here's CBS 13's Rachel Wolf. But one of the first treatment steps at most wastewater treatment plants is called a primary clarifier. Heather Bischel, the associate professor of civil and environmental engineering, shows us the first step in the sampling process, looking at levels of COVID-19 in feces to determine infection rates. Her lab at UC Davis leads Healthy Central Valley Together, a collaborative project taking solid samples four days a week from eight partner facilities in Yolo, Merced, and Stanislaus counties. So we load 96 samples at a time into a plate method. Here's how they analyze the solids for traces of COVID-19. We extract the RNA, it's genetic material, from the virus, and then we can measure the concentrations. Her group then shares that data with wastewater treatment facilities, city representatives, and public health departments. Research shows there is no transmission through wastewater. But what goes down the drain comes up in terms of public health. We've seen that the virus is there in the wastewater and that that correlates, the concentrations in the wastewater correlate with trends in infection. Bischel launched the wastewater testing component of Healthy Davis Together, a collaboration between the university and the city of Davis to respond to the pandemic through large testing sites. In the last two years, they tested thousands of wastewater samples. She says analysis may be a bit diluted, but it's real information, especially now during the endemic and the new era of at-home testing. So the case counts that public health departments have are are undercounting the real number of cases in the community. But with wastewater testing, we go to the bathroom every day, right? And so it's sort of this community pooled sample. Bischel says it's a cost-effective, non-biased new metric. You watch this metric increase or decrease, and we're working with statisticians to be able to develop models to get closer to saying, well, what does that mean in terms of number of cases? Well, UC Davis says wastewater analysis can look for polio, and they're now also looking for monkeypox, while their partners at Stanford are expanding and looking at influenza.